So to create our coil spring, the first thing we want to do is to create a simple ellipse. For this, select the ellipse tool and draw a random ellipse like this. Now go to the top of the screen and make sure this link is broken. This enables us to adjust the width and the height separately. So first go to the width and type in 200 pixels. Then go to the height and type in 50 pixels. Then let's zoom into the ellipse a little bit. And just to make it easier, make sure to leave some room for the coil to grow. Then pick the scissor tool, which is hidden under the eraser tool, and cut these two anchor points. And if we pick the selection tool, we can see that we now have two separate shapes. Then pick the right shape, go to the height, and make this 30 pixels. And depending on how you set the reference point right here, the shape will shrink up, or it will shrink down like this. If it shrinks down like this, simply move the shape up. Now select the entire coil, go to the stroke weight and select the stroke weight you want. For this example, I will choose four points. So here we have the basic shape of our coil and now we just need to duplicate it as many times as we want it to repeat and then we need to close off the coil in both ends. If you like this video so far, please give it a thumbs up. So now hold down the Alt key to duplicate and duplicate this coil while holding down the shift key to make sure you drag it in a straight line until it intersects with the green smart guide like this. And instead of manually doing this step multiple times, we can simply repeat this step by clicking Ctrl D or Command D as many times as you want the coil to repeat. You can simply choose how many times you want your coil to repeat. When you're happy, select the entire coil, click the fill and disable the fill. This will turn it into an actual coil spring. So here we have the coil spring and you can use it as it is right here or you can keep watching to see how we can refine the ends to look a lot better. So when we want to create the end of the coil, we want to use the right side of the coil, which remember is the lowest part at 30 pixels. So hold down the Alt key to duplicate this part while holding down the Shift key to make sure you drag it in a straight line. Then hold down the Shift key and rotate it 180 degrees and then simply drag it while holding down the shift key again until it connects with the end of the spiral. But as you can tell right here, this looks a little bit odd because it just simply fuses into the spiral. So select the part again and add whatever stroke weight you have to the height of this part. So my stroke weight is 4 points, therefore I will make the height 30 plus 4 pixels, which is 34 pixels. And then move it up so these paths connect. And this is probably the most realistic end of a coil spring, but I prefer to close the end by picking this last part again, hold down the Alt key to duplicate it to the side, rotate this one 180 degrees and put it back into the spring. This will kind of close off the entire spring. And before I close off the bottom of this coil spring, keep watching this video if you want to see how you can adjust the width and the height and also the stroke weight of the coil spring while still having it look realistic. So to close off the bottom, we simply delete this half part right here, select the left and the right side of the top of the spring, which remember we made 34 pixels and duplicate this top down to the bottom. It looks like this. Make sure it intersects with the end of the spring. And here we have our finished spring. So what if we now change our minds and we now want the stroke weight to be 10 points. Let's see what happens if we just make it 10 points. Suddenly it looks like this, which doesn't really look realistic. So the first thing we want to do is to correct the bottom and the top of the coil spring. Because now we need these parts right here to be 30 plus 10 instead of 30 plus 4 like it is right now. So go to the top of the screen right here and type in 40 in height. Then drag it up until it connects right here. Do the same thing in the bottom. So now to get some more separation between the coil, we can select the entire coil and simply make it taller. And if you want, you can adjust the width as well. And that is how we create a coil spring. Thank you for watching.